So you may have seen this new wave of passive income selling digital products on a website called Etsy. I work a full-time 9 to 5 job and I wondered how easy would it be to earn some passive income myself. Some of these Etsy videos on YouTube are blowing up showing thousands of dollars made in their first 30 days or even tens of thousand dollars which is crazy numbers. But how realistic are they? I wanted to try it for myself to see how easy it would be to set up these products, what the startup costs were and how quickly it would be to get my first sale. So a quick backstory, my background is in graphic design. So when I saw these Canva templates, I thought I could do that too. Like Canva is so easy to use. I've seen so many videos of people too who have no graphic design knowledge, no degree, no qualifications, and they can easily make these Canva templates. As long as they have an eye for what looks good, they can make these Canva templates too, and they're earning lots of money doing so. And for those who don't know what Canva is, Canva is a free design platform used to create social media graphics and presentations. It's got a super user-friendly interface, which means anyone can log in and start designing straight away with no experience. Funnily enough, us graphic designers don't like this platform because people believe it's stealing our jobs, but I think, hey, if you can't beat them, join them. And now there's a huge wave of people making templates that people can buy via Etsy. They get a link that sends them to Canva and then on the Canva template, they can change out all their colors, their pictures and use it for their own brand. For a customer's perspective, it's definitely cheaper and easier than hiring a graphic designer these days. So I can see why it's so popular and all these templates are popping off. How long does it take to make a digital product? This of course varies so much and was the hardest part. I had to decide what my shop's niche was going to be, who I was even going to sell to, what was I going to sell, where do I even start? So I looked at what I was passionate about and started there. I personally love the self-improvement niche, the self-care, the mindset coaching, the healthy lifestyle coaching. I thought maybe I could start there doing social media templates for these kinds of people or brands that are in that sort of niche. You may love beauty products and you may want to sell a social media bundle for people selling beauty products or makeup artist services or maybe you're really passionate about food and you want to create a menu template maybe you're amazing at budgeting your weekly paycheck and you want to create an excel spreadsheet so that people can learn how to do that and manage their own money there's so many ideas to choose from and all it takes is exploring etsy to see what's already popular so i chose my niche and i decided to make a social media template now i just needed to figure out the content this was very time consuming as I went through so many Instagram profiles looking at self-help coaches and jotted down ideas of what I could do for my own. Stuff like, oh, they need a pricing tile or they need a sales tile or they need a, a membership pricing tile. Please do not plagiarize other people's work. Only look at it for inspiration and then use your own wording or put your own spin on it. Once I had enough content, I decided on a color scheme and fonts and made as many tiles as I could for my social media template. You can't take Canva's pre-existing templates and then sell them. It has to be your own design. Now working a nine to five job, balancing recreational time, time with family and friends, etc. It took me a long time to finish this template. I'm just being real with you. It took me over six months to finish this template. I was very slow. I procrastinated a lot. I overthinked it a lot. Also, I just didn't want to come home from work just to work on more work. You know what I'm saying? So it was more of a hobby that I did over time until I finally finished something that I could sell. And also, I think I aimed too high. I made like over 70 social media tiles where I should have just aimed for like about 20 and then start from there. So there's some advice for you if you're just starting. Don't start too big like I did, just start small. You can literally start by making a one page template and then you're good to go. It just depends on what you're selling. I've seen other creators say that they've spent anywhere between a week to like two months to create a product. So it's definitely time consuming, but apparently it's a lot easier once you've completed your first product as then you can go off and make various variations of the same product but in different styles and you can upload them as different job listings. So for example, you can make like a green theme of your product or a 
pink theme or a different size variation of your product and you can upload them all as different listings to build your shop. The Etsy algorithm favors stores that have multiple listings and keep consistently uploading new listings to the store. It shows Etsy that you are an active store and that you deserve to be shown to more people. Alright, so the moment you've all been waiting for, here is my first 30 day Etsy results. I've got my laptop right here, I'm gonna show you my statistics and run you through what happened during this month. Alright, so I completed my social media template and then I uploaded just one listing, I think on a Monday or a Tuesday, on the 20th of February. And then I just went about my week. I did not expect anyone to buy my product because how would they even find it? And later that week, on the Thursday, a random bought it, which is crazy. Like, I did not expect that. I don't even know how this person found me. I'm a new store. I have no reviews. I don't know if it was pure luck, <laughs> but yeah, someone found my listing, I'm assuming with Etsy ads, and on the 23rd of February, I got my first sale of $10.50. So this made me stoked. I was like, I am about to get rich off this. The orders are gonna come in. But then since then, it was like nothing. It was like crickets. I kept uploading more listings. So I made some variations of the same product. I made like the social media template in some different sizes and then uploaded that as new listings. So I was just focusing on getting those up onto my Etsy store so I had more listings to work with. Yeah, so nothing really happened for a few days and then thankfully my friend was like, hey, I'll help you out and I'll buy your product. And I was like, oh, thank you. Just to keep the ball rolling, I guess. Yeah, so we had that purchase on the 28th. Five days passed and then two more friends decided to help out and buy my product, which thank you guys. But at this point I was like, I don't know if anyone else is gonna buy it. That first listing was probably a fluke. Maybe I need more listings. So I thought there was gonna be no one really buying my product anymore. But then I decided to up my Etsy ads to $2 a day. So that was around this time. I was just like, oh, I wanna get this shown to more people. Let's up the ads a little bit. And then thankfully I did get another order. So I was like, oh, that's nice. And then a few days passed. Then I got two orders orders in one day which is like I was so stoked with that yeah and then a few more days another order it's nothing like crazy but to me expecting there to be zero orders they just kept coming like one order here one order there and another order so all in all I had 10 orders in my first month on Etsy which is really nice for my first 30 days I had 265 visits 10 orders a 3.8 percent conversion rate which is pretty good my revenue was a hundred and three dollars and twenty cents Australian dollars is it life-changing money? Probably not, but still great to have an extra hundred dollars just sitting in my pocket for not really doing anything. Obviously, I spent a lot of time to make the product, but pretty good to get that passively. Yeah, that's a hundred dollars that can go towards the Etsy ads or a few coffees. Yeah, so I'm really stoked that I even got one sale. So to get 10 orders, I am super stoked. So that was from when I first started the store. The last 30 days from the time of filming this, I've got 13 orders total, 4.1% conversion rate, and $122.10. So I've been on a trip to Bali for the last two weeks. So towards the end of this month, I did not work on my Etsy store at all. I didn't do anything to improve it or add new listings or anything like that. So what was really cool was I was still receiving orders while I was off overseas and I didn't have to fulfill any inventory. I didn't have to take action or anything. All I had to do was just see money come in and that was really great. And in a place like Bali, a meal there can cost $2. So having these orders come in was awesome because it gave me a little bit extra cash that I could spend on a migraine or anything like that. Towards the end here, I ended up getting free orders a day, which is amazing. Like they're all from strangers. I do not know these people, which is amazing. The Etsy ads is obviously working. Other shoppers found me. Etsy bought 50% of visits. So the Etsy app and other Etsy pages bought most of them. Some people found them in the search. 
directing other traffic. No idea what this is because I don't share the link of my page to anyone unless this is my own self looking at my page, maybe, probably 28 times. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure where the other traffic would be coming from at this stage. The reason why I can't share the link to my shop to you guys is because if I send it out to you guys and you come to the store and you don't buy anything, my conversion rate is going to go down so low and then my Etsy store is not going to do well or my Etsy is not going to show my store to others. But at least I can show you these statistics. I did a lot of research on the Etsy SEO as well, so hopefully those were good in people helping to find my product. Now, looking back on these statistics, I want to share with you how I think I can earn more and why $122 isn't actually that much and what I plan to do in the future. So first things first, because I was a new store, I was really uncertain if I would even make a sale. The way I wanted to counteract this was have an opening sale to rack up more sales, more views, more reviews for my store. So I was hoping if I charge less, then people will be more willing to buy my product and leave a great review. I just wanted my store to look legitimate at first because I think starting the store seems to be the hardest part. So I decided to do like a 30% off sale store wide and the original cost of the items weren't very high to start with. They're about like $15 each and then with 30% off that's about $10 a listing. So I think I could definitely increase this amount in the future seeing as people are actually interested in my product and they are buying it. I think I can charge a lot more than like $10 especially because I've put in a lot of work into the social media template and it's a lot more in depth than some of the others out there at the moment. Another thing that I wanted to know is that revenue is not profit. I had to run Etsy ads. I started off with $1 a day and then I heard somewhere that $2 a day was better so I put it up to $2 a day. Once I did that, I started to see more strangers come to my store and start purchasing my product. I'll write what my profit it is after ads right here. What other expenses come with running an Etsy store? For starters, I had to buy Canva Pro in order to be able to share a template link to other people so people can use it as a template rather than just access my design. I also spent money on an Adobe Creative Suite. I use this for my personal design work anyway, but I did need to use the Photoshop to create the little Etsy listing photos. You do not need an Adobe Creative Suite to run an Etsy store or create these listings. You can literally use Canva to create the little Etsy listing photos so don't think that you have to buy that because it's not a necessary expense it's just what I'm used to and it helps me create really nice designs. So using these subscriptions brings my net profit down to this and this is not including maybe like internet costs but as my store gets bigger and I start earning more money, I think that's a great startup cost for a business. There's no inventory, there's no delivery fees. You just need an internet connection, a computer and a few programs and then you're ready to go. Now that I am building my store, seeing new sales and discovering how to price my items better, hopefully I can get it to a point where I'm earning an extra thousand dollars a month. Like how awesome would that be? I hope you found value from this video. I certainly love seeing people's results with Etsy and I wanted to see for myself how realistic it would be. Someone that's working nine to five and doesn't have a lot of time to work on something like that consistently. I'm super stoked to have gotten over 10 sales in my first 30 days. It is definitely more than what I expected and I'm super interested to see where my Etsy store goes in the next couple of months. If you want to see more Etsy tips or a more in-depth tutorial of how I made my listings, just comment below. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a fantastic day. See you next time. Bye!